Ad Eno Benjamin. What's up, everybody? It's Eric, a.k.a. Doc, coming at you from the Triple Play YouTube channel. Week 5 pass. We're looking forward to Week 6 waiver wires. First off, if Kenneth Walker is available in your league, that's your number one priority. I don't think I need to go into a YouTube video saying why you need to add him. He's available in about 50% of leagues, so make sure that he's there first. But I'm going to dive into someone that I think is a little bit under the radar, and that's going to be Eno Benjamin from the Arizona Cardinals. So just first looking at the depth chart, and there's not much there. Injury prone James Conner. Guess what? Getting another injury with the ribs. Daryl Williams, who was thought to be the top backup, actually suffered a knee injury that same game against the Eagles. Then we have Eno Benjamin, who is healthy in terms of NFL. And then Keontae Ingram, who is the fourth string, but he's been inactive all five games. They also have Jonathan Ward, but he has actually been inactive in all games as well, has yet to get a snap this season. So we saw when Connor and Daryl Williams went down that Eno Benjamin actually got all eight carries while they were gone, including a touchdown. So looking at the game script, the Cardinals are two and three, but they've actually trailed at the half in all five games. So when you're trailing, game script most likely favors you throwing the ball, which even if James Conner was healthy, Eno Benjamin is the pass catching back on the team. Now, all of that adds up to garbage points. Now, we don't care how Eno Benjamin gets points because all fantasy points are created equal. So even if you're getting those garbage time points, he's getting some stats for you. Now, just to look at the upcoming schedule, the Cardinals have a really, really favorable next four games. They're playing the Seahawks, who, after holding the Broncos to 16 in their opening game, and at it might be more of a, of a reflection on the Broncos' offense, the Seahawks have allowed 35 points per game over their last four. Then they play the Saints, who are allowing 25 points per game on the season. Then they play the Vikings, who have allowed 23 points per game over their last four. And then guess what? They play the Seahawks again. So that is a great four-game stretch with some high-scoring offenses or with some, excuse me, defenses that allow high-scoring offenses to the point where you might not even need that garbage time. But with all of that being said, Eno Benjamin, I think, is a good add this week. Now, depending on your situation, if you're one and four, if you're if you're two and three, or if your bye weeks are starting to hurt you, I would spend a little bit more. Um, if you, my standard would be about 5% because I do think James Conner does come back at some point. The ribbed injury doesn't seem pretty serious. Um, Daryl Williams, they still haven't given any update. So I don't think it's a long-term play to add Eno. He is also listed at 5'9", 207. So I don't think he has the body to be an every down back. But look, when the others went out last game, he had eight carries for 25 yards and a touchdown and three carries for, or three catches for 20 excuse me, eight carries for 25 yards and a touchdown, three receptions for 28 yards. That's good for a plug-and-play, low-end RB2, high-end flex, depending on what you need in the bye week. So for all of those reasons, I would add Eno Benjamin. Now, be a little bit conservative. I'd say 5% is a good waiver spend. If you need the win, I would go anywhere from 7 to 10%. Also manage what your league mates are doing. Maybe you can afford to spend a little bit more or a little bit less. But for everybody that watches Triple Play, we appreciate that. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and let us know what your thoughts about Eno Benjamin this week.